please pass through the different stages of population growth as shown in the five stages of the demographic transition model, or DTM. Stage one is high stationary. The birth rate is high. The death rate is high. The natural increase is stable or there's a slow increase. The reasons for the birth rate are basically there is high infant mortality due to poor sanitation. The death rate is also very high because there's disease, famine, poor medical knowledge, therefore many children die. Stage 2 is early expanding. Birth rates still remain high, but the death rate is falling rapidly. This leads to a higher natural increase because the, popu because the birth rate is higher than the death rate, therefore the population is growing. The birth rate still remains high because there's still high infant mortality rates. The death rate is beginning to decrease because there's more investments in sanitation and healthcare. Stage three is late expanding or life expanding. The birth rate is falling at this point and the death rate is still falling, albeit more slowly. The natural increase is slowing down, although is still expanding. The birth rate begins to decrease because there is improved medical care, there's lower infant mortality, there's greater women's rights and also contraception becomes more available and more women know how to use it. The death rate is also falling due to improved investments in sanitation and healthcare. Stage 4 or low stationary. The birth rate is low, the death rate is low and there's a stable natural increase or there's still a very small increase. The birth rate stays low because women are more educated in contraception and there's better sanitation so as so no infant mortality rate or there's very few babies who die. The death rate is still fairly low because of investments in sanitation and healthcare. Stage 5 declining. The birth rate is low. The death rate is low. There tends to be a natural decrease because the death rate is higher than the birth rate. This can be avoided in many countries, either by letting in migrants who are of a family creating age, or this can be solved by implementing policies in order to try and get people to have more children, i.e. non-taxable allowances, greater amount of maternity paternity leave, greater amount of maternity paternity pay, and also better housing for parents who want to bring up lots of children.